Writing a multi-step equation for a real-world situation. In your Alex Pie, mouse over the light green slice, linear equations and inequalities to reveal the drop-down list of topics you need to cover. Click on Writing a multi-step equation for a real-world situation. Here's an example problem. TechWiz Electronics makes a profit of $35 for each MP3 player sold and $18 for each DVD player sold. Last week, TechWiz sold a combined total of 152 MP3 and DVD players. Let X be the number of MP3 players TechWiz sold last week. Write an expression for the combined total profit in dollars TechWiz made from MP3 and DVD players last week. Let's click Explain. There was a combined total of 125 MP3 and DVD players sold last week. We're letting X be the number of MP3 players sold. Therefore, the number of DVD players sold was 125 minus X, or the total minus the number of mp3 players sold. There were x mp3 players sold and each gave a profit of $35. So that's going to be 35x or $35 times the number of mp3 players sold. There were also the total minus X or 125 minus X DVD players sold and each gave a profit of $18. So here's the profit from all DVD players sold last week. 18 times parentheses 125 minus X end parentheses in dollars. To find the combined total profit we add the profit from the MP3 players and the profit from the DVD players. So here's the answer. And notice it says it just wants, it just says write an expression, it does not say solve. And so our expression is 35x plus 18 times parentheses 125 minus x, end parentheses. And I prefer this one because this expression uses numbers that we're familiar with from the original problem. Now you can use the distributive property to simplify this part of it right here, taking 18 times 125 minus 18x, and then you would do 35 minus 18, which is 17, and then 18 times 125 is 2250. But what I don't like about this simplified expression is that when I'm looking at these numbers, I don't see any of the original numbers um, from the original problem. And so for the remainder of this video, we're going to work with the equations that use the original numbers without using the distributive property to simplify. Let's try another one. Jessica takes classes at both Westside Community College and Pinewood Community College. At Westside, class fees are $98 per credit hour, and at Pinewood, class fees are $115 per credit hour. Jessica is taking a combined total of 20 credit hours at the two schools. Suppose that she is taking W credit hours at Westside. Use an expression for the combined total dollar amount she paid for her class fees. Okay, so it says W credit hours at Westside and the class fees at Westside are $98 per credit hour. So for Westside it's going to be 98W. 98W plus So then at Pinewood, it's going to be 115 
times the total number of credit hours minus the variable that shows how many credit hours we're taking at west side. So 98 times W for west side plus 115 times the total number of credit hours minus W. So 115 times 20 minus W. So again, our expression for this problem is 98W plus 115 times parentheses 20 minus W end parentheses. And click next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Let's try one more. Let N be the middle number of three consecutive even integers. Write an expression for the sum of these integers. So three consecutive even integers. Consecutive means they come in order. So like two, four, six, or 12, 14, 16. Since we're talking about consecutive in order and then even integers. It doesn't matter what they are, but I know that N is in the middle. And so when I'm counting by twos, I have N and then N plus two. And then on this side, I have one that's going to be N minus two. Okay, so let N be the middle number of three consecutive even integers. And so that's this right here. And so then since again, um, since it's even integers, consecutive, it means we're counting by twos. Two, let's pretend that this is two, four, six. And so if this one in the middle is four. To get to two, it would be four minus two. To get to six, it would be four plus two. Two, four, six. And then to simplify this expression, we have in here a minus two and a plus two. That's going to be zero. And so we can get rid of those. And then what I have left is n plus n plus n, which is three n. And so I'm going to take this and rewrite it as three n. And click next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.